Hey, what's up? John Charette here. Today, I'm reviewing three very comparable phone cases. The OtterBox Symmetry, a Spigen Core Armor, and a Kadabi Sheath. Let's see how they compare to each other and which one I recommend. For total transparency, none of these brands paid me for this video. I paid out of the pocket for the OtterBox and the Spigen, but I did receive a few free cases from Kadabi, so thank you very much. I do have affiliate links in the description below, so if you buy any of these cases, I will get a little piece and it'll help support the channel. Thanks. Okay, so why these three cases? Well, I had a few specific requirements I wanted to touch on. One, price point, not over $50 USD. Number two, not too flimsy, but also not too bulky, kind of this middle of the road case. If I saw on the website that the, you know, the case bends, uh -uh, not gonna fly for me. And lastly, MagSafe compatibility. I am an iPhone user, uh, but know that this review here, all these three cases can and are available on other devices such as Samsung's and other Android devices, not only iPhones. So I'll try and keep this as brand or phone agnostic as possible. But before we jump into each case, here's a quick message from our sponsor, Aura. Oh, are you tired of always getting spam phone calls? I mean, are you worried about identity theft or credit fraud? Aura might be perfect for you. It's an all-in-one security platform for, for the whole family. The, the thing about security is, is you just, I mean, you, you need to be, you need to protect yourself. This all-in-one solution is pretty sick. It includes a built-in VPN so you can protect yourself while you're surfing. I mean, it has a password manager that'll alert you if any of your passwords get compromised. An antivirus for your home computer, Windows, Mac, on even your Android phone, and parental controls to block your kids from going to specific websites, and even you can tell how long they've been on certain sites. Now, the last two are really what set Aura apart. I mean, with credit fraud on the rise, Aura includes $1 million of credit fraud insurance. That'll cover any eligible losses and fees due to identity theft. I mean, it's bad enough that someone's stealing your identity. They don't have to rack up a bunch of debt. And lastly is, is the spam call protection. How many times a day do you get random calls and they're just trying to steal your information? Or is AI powered call assistant? It will screen your calls. It'll look to see if a call is legitimate or not and then pass through the good ones and block all the bad ones. Like I said, it's an all in one solution. Did I mention that on the individual plan, it can protect up to 10 devices, and on the family plan, it can do 50 devices. I highly recommend checking it out. Use my link down below, aura.com slash johnnyaction to get a 14-day risk-free trial. Now let's talk about the judging criteria for each one of these cases. First, color options. Next, fitment of the case onto the phone. Next, we have protection of the camera bump itself. We have the rated drop protection, MagSafe connectivity, weight, price point, shipping options, and probably the most important, the overall feel and texture. Now for all of these tests, I asked my wife to try them out on her brand new iPhone 15. So I will use that as an example phone, but note it will work for, for many other phones. And make sure you stay to the end of this video where I will tell you a secret about one of these cases that the other two doesn't have that is literally make or break. All right, let's talk color options. The OtterBox Symmetry has by far the most options with 17 different color choices. Now the Spigen Core Armor comes in black and only black, so Mur, mur. Then there's the Kadabi sheath, which comes in three or four colors depending on the device. A black, like this one, a celestial blue, a purple amethyst, and if you get the iPhone Pro Max, a gray. Pretty nice. Who wins this category? I mean, definitely OtterBox with, you know, their 17 options is a clear winner. And then Kadabi coming in second with Spigen at the end. Okay, now let's look at the fitment of these cases on an iPhone 15 to see how well it snaps in, kind of stays in place. Let's pop it into the Otter box. Pretty easy. It went in uh, very, very easy. You can see a bit of flex here on the sides, not too bad. Uh, I would say overall pretty, pretty nice fitment. 
Okay, let's try the Spigen. It's definitely of all three cases, it's it's the, the flexiest. Is, is that a word, flexi? Flexiest? Okay, uh, also snapped in quite easily. I feel like there's more flex. That, oh yeah, definitely on this side where it has the, uh, where it has the cut out uh, flexes. Not bad, not bad. And last but not least, the Kadabi sheath. Let's see how this goes in. Mm, probably the hardest to get in from a fitment. Uh, ooh, but it's definitely stiff. Very stiff, hardly any flex at all. Yeah, probably the stiffest. Okay, uh, definitely ranking from, from, from top to bottom. The Kadabi Sheath wins that one for sure with the Autobox in second place and Spigen trailing behind. Okay, let's look at camera bump protection. Okay, I can see here the edge. Kind of it's covering. You can see here. I'm gonna get a really nice shot. There we go. You can see it covering. It it doesn't really rock all that much, which is surprising. It's, it's pretty good. Okay. Next case. Let's begin. Okay, it has definitely a bigger. You see them side by side. You can almost see uh, just the. The, maybe it's the design. Let me see here. Uh, it's a, definitely a bigger hump. Let's see how it, oh, like zero. Like doesn't move around at all. Interesting. So, huh, good. Uh, it feels like it's the biggest one. Does that mean it's going to protect it the most? Here, let's, let's measure them. Millimeter. Maybe we'll say two just to round it up. Yeah. Okay. So the Otter Box has a two millimeter bump on it. The Spigen three millimeter. Okay. All right. Let's take this out and see how the Kadabi does. Okay. It looks small, much, much smaller from a design perspective. More similar to the Otter Box for sure. Here, check that out. You can see that. Yeah. You can see that there. Okay, let's measure its thickness. Oh, it's even less. I'm going to say it's less than the Otter Box. Oh, yeah. I'm giving it like a 1.2, 1.3 millimeter. So it's definitely the smallest from, from a height perspective. Uh, how's the. Just as much, I would say, wiggle and movement as the, as the Otter Box. Okay, cool. So who wins that one? I mean, if you're looking for sheer size, oh, I see what they did. It's, it's actually taller on the top bezel. Let's see if I can measure the bottom bezel here. It's like 1.5, 1.5, and then it opens up to a three here on, on the edge, but actually from the case edge to the bezel is 1.5 millimeter. So, whew, one millimeter, two millimeter, 1.5 millimeter. The Spigen actually wins this one because it doesn't, doesn't really, oh, I have those backwards. The Spigen doesn't rock at all, and which is pretty cool and it still looks like it has a significant bump protection on it. So I'm gonna give the win to Spigen on this one. And then next up, from a minimalistic design on the Kadabi sheath, much better, and then Otterbox in, in third place. Before we continue, I just wanted to say thank you for all the subscribers on my channel. I recently just hit 2,000 subs. Thank you, thank you. And I mean, it's all, it's all because of you. Thank you for encouraging me. I, I love the comments and I'm just, I'm in so much joy that I can continue to do this. So thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and hit that like button. Next up is rated drop protection. I had considered putting the cases and then dropping my wife's phone a bunch, but she probably wouldn't like that if I smashed her phone. Maybe when I'm making some Mr. Beast kind of, you know, cash money on the channel, I can do these things, but for now, we're gonna have to go with the rated amount that I found on their website. Otterbox Symmetry. It says on here it's rated three times the amount as the military grade mil spec standard 810G516.6. 
whatever that's supposed to mean. Why do brands do this? I mean, that means nothing to me, but I mean, I, mean, I, I Googled it. I said, okay, what, what is it goes on? After a bit of search, it looks like it's a four foot height dropped 26 times is the test. So Otterbox is saying that it did three times that many drops at 78 drops at four feet. Why couldn't you have just said that on your website? The Spigen Core Armor says the exact same that it passed the mill spec grade drop uh, s standard, but it doesn't say three times. So I would just give it the maybe 26 drops at four feet. All right. And the Kadabi Sheath is the only brand that actually says the height on the website at two meters or 6.6 .6 feet. That's pretty cool. I mean, they don't mention how many times they dropped it, but 6.6 .6 feet is significantly higher than four. And I don't know about you, but I'm, a, I'm about six feet. So imagine dropping my phone from the top of my head versus at my, I don't know, chest, hip height. That being said, when I do drop my phone, it's usually out of my back pocket or at cell phone height, not at my head height. So does it matter? I'm still gonna give Kadabi the win on this one. I mean, the fact that they went with the higher rating, I think that's pretty cool. They were very open about it and very clear on the website from, from a marketing, you know, material marketing standpoint. It was very clean, easy to read, where these guys I had to search and what this military grade spec even meant so that I could justify their tests. Number one, definitely the Kadabi sheath on this one. Number two, the Otterbox, because it did three times the amount, and then the Spigen in last place. Okay, for you iPhone users out there, MagSafe connectivity is pretty important. It's something that I use every day to charge my phone and stick my phone to a connector. So let's see how well it sticks. Just, I mean, phone itself, it's uh, connected. I can. Oh yeah, it's, it's, I had to really, really give it, but it, okay. So, so I can give it a pretty good shake and it stays on there. Let's see how well it does with the cases. Otter box. Oh, 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 see, I, oh, it's coming off now. Okay. Definitely not as good as without the case. Okay, all right, let's keep going. Big in. As you can tell, it's a very scientific test. Yeah, hmm. it's a very, very comparable. All right, the Kadabi sheath. Oh, it just fell right off. Oh yeah, it's definitely the worst. Ooh. Yeah, interesting. Not what I would have thought. So definitely Kadabi was the worst. I'm gonna go and then Spigen was kind of second and then Otter Box as first place on this one. The symmetry, the symmetry did win. So. But these guys were very, very close. The, the symmetry and uh, the core armor were very, very close. Okay, next up is weight. I do wanna understand which case weighs the most or the least. Okay, first, and let's start with the Otter Box. 38 grams. The Spigen our core armor. 42 grams. And the Kadabi sheath, 41. So all vary within a couple grams of each other. I would say very comparable. Now, personally, the price and cost of the case is pretty important. I mean, you're already spending a thousand dollars plus on your brand new phone and you want it to be protected, right? So, but I wanted to give it a, like a cap of $50 USD. I figured that was a pretty solid price point. Now let's see where they compare against each other. Now you may find better deals out there, but I'm comparing the retail or MSR pre price. Uh, if you do find a better price, leave a comment down, comment down below and tell other people where you got a good deal on these cases. I'm sure they would love to know. 
All right, the Otter Box is the most expensive, the Symmetry at $49.95 USD. And the Spig and Core Armor is about $10 less at $39.99 US. And the Kadabi Sheath is right around there as well at $40 USD. And the Otter Box is $10 more than the other two. You can get a cheaper case from them, the commuter case, but it's it's kind of a two-piece case and it's a bit more bulky and I didn't think it fit with, fit with this minimalistic style that I was looking for. So in Autobox's case, you do need to pay that $10 extra. Is it worth it? Stay tuned to the end for my conclusion. Shipping options. Okay, I, I put this one in there because I think it's pretty important to know that sometimes we buy our new phone, sometimes it's planned, other times it's you're just in the mall and you're like, bam, I want my new phone, you're an impulse buyer and you get home and you go, I don't have a case. I need it now and I want to order online so that I can protect my phone. Now the Otter Box Symmetry is absolutely available on Amazon. Same with the Spigen Core Armor. Both have, if you have Prime, you can get it next day. So that is excellent options. The Kadabi ships directly from their website. They don't have a, they don't have a presence on Amazon. And I mean, it does say on their website that it ships within one business day, but then how long it takes to get to your location is probably dependent on the distance. It has, uh, for myself, I am in Canada and it has taken a little bit longer sometimes to get my phone. So I'm going to knock them on shipping. The other two, I mean, literally there's Many options for both, uh, both both on Amazon. Also Best Buy carries a lot of the OtterBox. I would say if you're looking for availability, the OtterBox is an easier to find case. Last but definitely not least is the texture and feel section. I mean, this is something that you will be touching every single day. Once you put your brand new iPhone into that case, I don't know about you, but it never comes out until pretty much I sell the phone. So you're touching it all the time. So this is really where I, I you know, asked my wife for her opinion on how it felt. First of all, the Otter Box, I, I think the quote she gave me was, it felt like cheap Tupperware. And I, I get, I know what she means. It, it, it's very smooth. It's a nice piece of plastic. To me, it's something though, because it's so smooth, it, it, it's slippy. And I mean, I think protection wise, Autobox is super known for being able to protect their phone, but from a texture feel perspective, it, uh, yeah, it, it's slippery and just, just kind of feels like, 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 like it's cheap plastic. I mean, I, it's not, but it, it feels that way. And it's also the most expensive one. Next up is the Spigen Core Armor. Now this one is uh, interesting texture on the back here. Um, my wife describes it as it feels like a toy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of, it's neat. I, I don't know, it's kind of, uh, you know, ribbed. Don't, don't do a bad joke, don't do a bad joke. But it, it, I mean, it, it's cool. Does it help with the slippy kind of feel? I mean, it's better than the Otter Box. Uh, one thing that my wife did point out is that the fact that it has all of these ridges in, it does feel like it's something that dirt and grime would get caught and pretty tough to clean. And last, the Kadabi Sheath. Now, if you know anything about Kadabi as their brand and you used their products before, you know they are all about the texture. It is I, I can't speak highly enough about how this case feels. I'm not sure if you can see the, the texture. It is just, it's, it's not as much, it's not like grip tape on a skateboard texture, but it is pretty cool. Like it just, it feels, when you grab it, you know you have the phone in your hand. Uh, by far, I believe this is the best feeling case out there. And I mean, I want to leave this to the end, but the Kadabi sheath is, is the number one case that, that I use. I didn't want to get super biased on it until I've really looked through all the other ones, but this is, this is the case I use on my phone. I love it, it's amazing. So for a texture feel perspective, absolutely number one goes with Kadabi. I would say number two to, to the Spigen and Otterbox hits last place.
Okay, to conclude, I mean, I, I went through all of these different lovely requirements and they're all very similar. There were some clear winners, some, some clear losers. Uh, in the end, I mean, it, it is your choice. You, you try them out. Hopefully this video has helped you a little bit get closer to a decision based on what's important to you. If it's texture and feel, absolutely could not be. Uh, but know that it, it lost on the, on the MagSafe connectivity. I mean, it still works, but maybe if you're a, uh, a user that connects the device in the car and you bounce a lot, maybe you're a rally car driver, and then maybe you want one of, one of the other two cases. If you want colors, go with the OtterBox. Camera bump protection, I, I think the Spigen kind of had, had the most protection there and it, and it didn't rock, right? So every case has a little bit of different advantage and disadvantage. Price point was in there. So I'm, for me, I am a Kadabi lover. They've been amazing. I'm so happy that they send me these the cases to try out. When I get my new iPhone 15 Pro Max, that is the case I will be putting on my phone. But please leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you like. Are there other phone cases you want me to compare? What phone are you using it with? Is it an iPhone? Is it a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra? Let me know. I'd love to hear more about this content. Thank you again. See you on the next one. Okay, I asked you to stay to the end for this special little trick, this, this interesting thing that only one of the cases has it's new this year kadabi okay for their cases they have put in a nice lovely felt lining on the inside of the case and at first you may be like well why does that matter well when you put your brand new phone inside it the last thing you want to do is this, the case to actually scratch your phone and this prevents that. I mean, it is in there all day long. They do have a little bit of wiggle as you use it for, you know, a couple of years before you replace your phone. So this will prevent your phone from getting damaged by the case itself to increase the resale value of your phone. Super smart. I love what Kadabi did with this. To me, that is one extra feature that gives them the win. So hope you like it.